We are at the Smith and Bybee Wetlands National Natural Area. Uh, what kind of animals can we expect to see here? I can, we can expect to see a spider or a bird. What type of bird? There's the great blue heron. Yep. What, what do we have down here? Western sandpiper. Yep. Great egret. Dragonflies, we say. What do we have up here? A bird up here. That is the American goldfinch. And the Canada goose migrates through here. That is a bald eagle. My name is Danger Baby Wrinkles. I'm here at the Smith and Bybee Wetland Lake area. We're going to take a look, see what sort of things come about. Here we're featuring migratory birds such as the great blue heron. Oh, that's silly! The American bald eagle. Other animals such as the American beaver, a river otter. Plants such as sword fern, reed canary grass, Cana Canada thistle. Also, trees like black cottonwood, Pacific ash, Oregon ash, snowberry, not to mention stinging nettles. It's a beautiful preserve, one of the largest in the nation, connected to the Columbia River Slough. Danger Baby Wrinkles here. We're further into the wetland sanctuary, enjoying the cool breeze, the light rustle of air on the foliage about us, cottonwood trees in the water. In the distance we hear migratory birds chirping as we see a few swoop along the water. Sadly. On our adventure, we've encountered litter. Yes, that's right, folks. Humans that enjoy this wetland also desecrated with garbage of snack food, etc. What to do about this is painfully clear for my research assistant and myself. We must pick up what we can and put it in our receptacle that we brought with us. We can only postulate that people are too lazy to throw their garbage in nearby receptacles and instead throw it on the ground. Gloves are still on. Ace litter technician McKinley Abbott don'ts his gloves once again for as we ventured further within the wetland trail we've discovered more litter this time in the form of what appears to be a beer can. Speculation would lead us to the conclusion that a grown adult could not dispose of his own garbage properly and so left beer That's can laying on the side of the road. Someone... Case in point, what seems to be a cigarette butt mere, mere feet away from the only garbage can we were able to locate on the trail. Trees webs. Why say go? All right, ready, go. Go. Dang of wood and glitter, you have to clean up all the time and so the animals like us really much, so the snakes like us too. Most of the species over here are really liking us, so we're really $20 and our house is all ready for anything web and spiders love us so much and even the beavers and the jaguars. And what's your name? Trees better webs. Trees webs. This is around, right? At great risk to himself, walking through thorn bushes, McKinley Abbott, now known as Trees Webs, continues to do his part, pick up the garbage. It looks like it had juice in it. Look, it looks like it had juice in it. His professional opinion is that it had juice in it. Got it. All right. You, did you film me? I did. I didn't even see that. Because you were doing your Good Samaritan deed and picking up garbage. Pretty good, buddy. All right. Yeah, be very careful That's of those thorns. Excellent. Here. Yeah, toss it in the bag. Did you feel me? Yeah. 
Upon reflection of our adventure here at the Smith and Bybee Wetland Natural Area, we find it quite peaceful. We found what appears to be litter. Our best guess as to the reasons why it is present is human laziness. You just saw earlier my assistant pick up a beer can and as we further inspected what looked like more litter, we found it to be human feces left with toilet paper. This foul display is not necessarily disheartening, but sad. Our best guess for a, for a possible uh, solution to the problem of litter and human laziness and waste is merely education. More signs posted saying no litter. People being made aware through such programs as school. Also perhaps the presence of another garbage can or two along the pathway. Particularly at the end where we saw the resulting beer can. This has been Danger Baby Wrinkles reporting.